So, had to tell a story for Steve. Steve! Huh? Five minutes, right? Yeah, time for five minutes. Ugh. Gibbons. Anyway. This is awkward. I don't know. I'm just gonna do it out here. Because I feel like I'm a loser. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording right now. The red light's on. Hold it. So I don't feel like a weirdo. Okay. Okay. How we got started, uh, our friend Parker decided to ask us to do a party for him once because he, wanted, he always did basement stuff, so... He asked us, so we scrounged up my dad's speakers and stereo, and Steve had a DVD player deck thing that powers our friend's subs, so we just brought all that over, and there was about like 80 people that showed up. Not too many dancing, but it kind of showed us that we could do it. Then we got the idea, since all the parties sucked, that we could do better, so we ended up renting out the Whittier Center, and we went and bought, like... 10 cases of dew, and Steve and Lance got weird looks when they were walking out with like two grocery carts full of Mountain Dew cans, and we found this Pepsi ice thingy that held a lot of Mountain Dew, so we just threw that in there, and it was first come, first serve for Mountain Dew, and so that was a lot of reason why a lot of people showed up, and it was like three bucks to get in, then uh, we had Never Sleep help us out with speakers, and... Um, it was, that's how we got the speakers, it was, it was just promotion for Juan and we was going to do a thing for him, so, he brought his speakers, and we had about 400 people show up, and, like, if we didn't have that good of a turnout, we probably wouldn't be doing it today, then, after we did that one, we wanted to do a really big one, and it was going to be Glow Dome, and we was going to break the world record for the most glow sticks, and we was going to do it at the field house up at USU. So we went and talked to the director of the field house and to see if we can get it rented. And we had to talk to like 20 people about it. And they kept on jacking up the price every time we go in. And then we kind of caught on that they didn't want us to do it there. So that's why they jacked up the price. So we just want messed with them and said, yeah, we could pay for it. Yeah, we could pay for it. And every time we did... They would make another appointment and they would raise the price again until they just decided, nope, you can't do it. So we ended up having to postpone it. So we threw a party on that same day at Castle Manor and no one showed up because we, it was like the last minute thing and we ended up losing $1,000. So the first day of summer vacation, we were in debt $1,000. And so the day after that, we had a what was it, a car wash thing at Nevis Sleep's uh, club and we ended up making like $80 so and we were trying to find a place that we could just make money back and Steve remembered there's a, a field house that where he used to live in Kaysville so we went down there to see how much it was and it was like only like $500 for both fields for like the night so we jumped at the chance, and we rented Marcus Wing out, and um, we charged about eight bucks for people to get in, so we knew we could make our money, and so, uh, and it was a month after that one party that we lost all our money, and in between that, we were just all freaking out, like, if this party didn't work out, we would have been completely screwed, like, we would have been done with partying, we would have been done with this, so it all counted on this party that we were going to do, and so... Anyway, that that day we drove down and set everything up, met Marcus Swing. And for those who don't know Marcus Swing, he's like the biggest DJ in Utah. Anyway, we went down, set it up, and like an hour before the party, all of us were just wouldn't speak to each other because we were just scared. We just didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to say. Then all of a sudden, about 20 minutes before the party showed up, like there was about... 80 people in a line just out front of the place and then it kind of like boosted our spirits and stuff so we waited another 20 minutes for more people to show up then we opened the doors and uh we just had people show like the line didn't dissipate until like an hour after it started and there was about 
what, 650 people showed up around there? Like, 600 people showed up, and... What? Here at five minutes. Sweet. All right, but yeah, we ended up having 600 people show up, and not only did we pay off all our debt, we each also walked away with about a couple hundred bucks. So, if that party would have went bad, we would have been done with it. So, yeah. Screw you, Gibbons.